Hey guys, I'm back for uh, this week's video on my latest progress for my final year project on my self defense simulation. So this weekend I've been working on custom gesture recognition. So for in the simulation, the connect will be picking up the user doing the certain technique that I've been uh, creating the animation to teach them. So it's obviously going to be a custom kind of movement, and I had to create a, a custom gesture recognition file so that it would know it was doing the right one and give feedback to the user telling them that they were doing the right movement. So. I've been kind of spending the guts of the day just researching this and uh, I've found a few things and been trying out loads of different things so uh, about two, three days of work got me to here now so um, I'll show you, let's see, I'll show you the movement, the gesture that I created and how it recognises so it's playing here so this is my movement, that you can see the character moving so it'll start down the pluck now and you can see here when it comes up so if you look here I'll change it to pluck tree yeah so you can see uh, the different joints are moving and the x y and z axis uh, how it's updating and telling you whether it's done right or not so there we go there's a pluck and you can see it comes up bingo and it tells you how many times it's done it so bit lag there um, yeah so twice and it'll keep doing it and it'll keep building up so it's just showing that it's actually picking up that the movement that I was doing is what it, uh, is the right movement so that's the pluck and then I made the strike too I think it's strike so if we play that I'm going to change that to too. as you can see here so this is my movement from my body again so you'll see you now it will perform the strike and there we go I recognize it so this is just me playing back the animation Um, I'm gonna pause the video and stand up and do it but I can't because I have the headset on right now so you'll see that in a second Um. okay so we'll pause this here So as you can see there, when I was standing up and down the movements, it was picking up the uh, same movements that came up when I was playing the animation. So you can see that it works and when I have uh, this all put into the, um, into the simulation, that it will pick up their movements and send, set flags so that it will know the user stay on the movement correctly and I'll be able to give the user feedback. So uh, you can see here's the, the pluck and strike animation. I'll just change it here. Yeah, so it's picking up all the axes here of the joint. So it's one, and then it'll do it again. See, so when you're making this, you have to keep repeating the move and set the keyframes a couple of times because it doesn't pick it up all the time. There picked it up there, but it didn't pick it up the movement before that because every user will move differently, everyone's body is different, the way everyone moves is different so you have to kind of make it that suits everyone and the connect isn't really the best piece of hardware and it's not going to pick up uh, the motions 100% perfectly you can see it, it kind of drops the, the left hand sometimes and the body moves all weird so this kind of ensures that uh, even though if the movement is sloppy that it'll still pick it up so in the next video hopefully I'll uh, have the scene built and a bit more um, kind of glue together for the the rift and the connect and the scene looking pretty in the animation. So that's kind of the next steps now. Um, keep an eye out and we'll, we have a month left 
to uh, submit this so hopefully I'll have a completed project by then. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you soon.